So Windows 10 anniversary uh, update comes on August 2nd, but we have it right here. We're going to showcase it on the Surface Pro 3 for you. There are a lot of new changes, a lot of little things you may not see, but you will find that your, your use of Windows 10 is much smoother and much faster. Now, as I mentioned, the UI changes are subtle, but you will notice certain things have changed across the board, making it an easier and also much more pleasant looking experience. For instance, your user account features, it's finally changed, no longer that orange, it's not a blue uh, tint to kind of match the new Windows 10 uh, look. Now, uh, when you open up your start menu, you can see your uh, account information is now the lower left-hand corner, same where your power is, as well as your settings. Uh, you can expand that look if you want to, but that's still generally the same uh, right there. Um, and then moving on to security. Security is one of those areas that Microsoft is going to improve quite well. Um, you have a situation now where Windows Defender now has real time. You can actually set up, test, set up real time scanning um, uh, with Windows Defender. Uh, also, as enterprise users, you have advanced advanced threat protection uh, with Windows 10 on your devices. Uh, but it's it's nice to see that they've gone and improved. Now, Windows Defender, you can still run it in conjunction with other antivirus uh, applications like McAfee or Norton. So if you have that or you paid for that, you still have this. So it's kind of like double protection, if you will. Um, you've got cloud protection, ex enhanced uh, notifications, things like that built into Windows Defender. So that is nice. I'm glad they actually gone ahead and still working to improve that because a lot of people don't use any other antivirus protection. Um, now, Windows Hello is one part I wish I could have. It's, shown you guys because I don't have a Surface Pro 4 so I can actually show you some of the new features but I can tell you from my demo with Microsoft that Windows Hello um, setting up the iris scanner takes about 10 seconds literally but the cool part now is you can actually go ahead and purchase using that iris scanner in the App Store say for instance I wanted to purchase Deadpool I can click on it uh, go to purchase and then use my iris scanner and make a purchase now of course that's not the exact way it is but uh it's still using that method so i don't actually actually have to use uh, uh type in a, a pin or anything like that the other thing about windows hello is that you can still add in an iris scanner uh camera or a usb drive and you'll be able to use it later on now Edge. Edge has got a bunch of improvement, improvements. The first one is extensions. Yes, extensions are finally here. And uh, now I have a couple of extensions already installed. I haven't actually set them off. You can actually turn them on and off. You can uninstall them directly from um, the browser itself, which is actually pretty cool. And I have my Amazon uh, extension actually set up. So that's nice. Um, and it shows up on the top right hand corner of your screen of your browser so you can see the amazon uh, extension right there the other thing is also there is an extension uh, app store which is actually in the windows app store easiest way to get to it is through of course your browser um the apps the windows app store is still a little messy in terms of things like this but um, you have a few extensions and there are more down the line. Uh, Edge also uh, now has uh, get, offers 17, 17 to 70% more battery life depending on use. Uh, you've got reading lists that are built into browsers, so on and so forth. So there are a lot of things added there, but I really wanted to talk about extensions uh, in there. Now, what I want to focus on here is actually Windows Ink and the pen. Um, and we'll talk about that and a few other things. Now, the pen actually has a, for some new functionality that adds into it. So you actually can multi-map multi the pen. So one click actually opens up the Windows Ink workspace, which we'll talk about in a second. Now, you can go ahead and launch applications from your pen uh, by setting up on a double click, and that will launch an application. It could be uh, a universal app or basically uh, something like Steam if you wanted to, it doesn't matter. You can also press and hold to actually launch Cortana. So uh, that functionality all on the top uh, button on your pen, uh, you can actually use that to do, which is very nice. And as I mentioned earlier, the uh, the UI streamlining really goes a long way, making things uh, much easier to find. You know, one of the things about Windows in the past is hard to find things in general, uh, but now you can see here Bluetooth is separate, printers and scanners also separate. Uh, it's easy to just find things across the board. Even your system menu has a much more cleaner look, um, you know, all around so i think a lot of people will like that networking again you can see here it's a very simple process networking used to be such a mess and i like the fact it looks like this but one thing to note that underneath uh, this you can still access everything the way you used to with secondary short courses 
tertiary shortcuts on Windows 10. Now, Windows Inc. also has an icon right there on the, on the taskbar, and that's it right there. I can click on that. That opens up Windows Inc. workspace. You have a couple of things. So uh, you've got sticky notes, uh, you've got the workspace, and then you've also got uh, screen share. So there's a sticky notes, there's a workspace. Uh, sorry, um, not workspace, I apologize, but um, that is also your uh, drawing area. So the first one, of course, is the screencast, where I can go ahead and take a... Uh, uh, if I want to take a screenshot and actually write on that screen, I could do that there. Let's say I love Wonder Woman, saw the new trailer, it was awesome. You know, I could um, go ahead and open up, of course, uh, Edge and do that again and just basically highlight something and definitely share it. Um, I could doodle, do whatever I want to do, you know, say check this out, whatever the case may be, and share that off. Um, and also I can add this to, to Cortana as a reminder if I wanted to. And that is something we'll talk more about when we get to Cortana. But that's cool that now the interconnectivity is really vast. Now the sticky notes are one of the things I like because now you have this enlightened feature. So you can write, um, you know, a web address, a telephone number. So right now I'm gonna try and write border work and trust me, I failed because um, it couldn't recognize my handwriting correctly. So it mistyped out border work. Uh, but when you type it out, you want to use your finger and tap on the screen and then uh, tap on on the written image itself and you go ahead and open that up. You click open, it goes to the browser. Couldn't find what it worked because of course I messed that up. But if I go back to say Yahoo, open that up, opens up Yahoo for me. So um, I can write something out, save it, and it will actually open it up. I can also go ahead and make a phone call from here. Now, I don't have a phone app here, but you get the idea. It's really nice. It's a nice switch to actually use the full functionality. And of course, you can still sketch, but the cool thing about Windows Inc. is that that hub allows you to easily access applications that you can use with your pen. So if, even if it's Office, if it's an Adobe application, you can do that too. And of course, the stylus is still quite uh, robust. Now, mind you, this is not my artwork. I did not draw this. This actually just came um, uh, with Windows Inc. itself. So it's at least something to actually help you start your artistic side, so to speak. Uh, but you get the idea there. Now with Cortana, Cortana can now be, be accessed on the lock screen. So I can actually go ahead and use Cortana with voice prompt and access on the lock screen. I'm asking for directions here to Madison Square Garden. But check this out. If you have Cortana on your smartphone, you, you actually will get those directions moved directly to your smartphone. So I've gone to the directions here. And once I pull up my smartphone, I have Cortana giving me a message. Here's your route. So right here on my Galaxy device, which is an Android device, I can actually go ahead and get my navigation, which is actually pretty cool. So I like this feature and it works the same with iOS uh, devices uh, and also your Windows devices as a whole. Now Cortana also has reminders. What it means is if I ask Cortana for something that I had saved before, I said, where is my enterprise pin? It comes up, it says, yeah, I found uh, one reminder, my enterprise pin. So it saved my points numbers or whatever I want to put as a reminder, it will actually put it there for me. That is actually pretty cool that I can now, uh, Cortana is learning to be more conversational, can set up reminders in a smarter way. And also as a user, I can do this and I can retrieve this on my smartphone too, if I want to. So reminders are saved as well, cross platform through the cloud. So I'm saving a reminder here for my Nintendo points. My Nintendo points uh, are 5382, whatever the number is, of course, it's just not really real number, but you get the cool idea there. And I think Cortana does a good job with that overall. So I think users will like that and find that quite solid. Now, another uh, cool thing with Cortana there, this is cross-platform uses. Uh, you can see I'm getting messages from my buddy. It's actually a text message. You can do notification um, um, uh, carryovers from your smartphone to uh, your PC. So if you're working, you can actually just start talking to people, either text, messenger, whatever application you choose. I don't have text on my smartphone. You see, request an app. I don't have Facebook Messenger on my, um, sorry, on my uh, Surface Pro 3 here either. But this is actually a text message from my buddy. I'm telling him that he's actually uh, on video with me. And that's actually pretty cool because uh, once I actually go uh, to the smartphone, you actually will see that he's actually, um, 
you know, was part of the conversation. It was a text message. This is, again, my Android phone that you see this from. So the idea that you can actually move back and forth really makes sense. And I think a lot of people will like these new features. Now, not that everything was rosy with uh, Windows 10 update. What I realized is that if my Surface Pro 3 pen didn't have all the functionality, so this is my Surface Pro 4 pen, or at least a Surface Pro 4 pen, not really mine, because I don't have a Surface Pro 4, and I can open up Cortana, I can double click to my application, as you saw, all this fun stuff there. Now I take my Surface Pro 3 pen, I one click to open up Windows uh, Ink, double click to open up application, press and hold, doesn't open up Cortana. So you will find that not every pen or stylus will have this kind of functionality. Some things will be left out. So just as a warning to Surface Pro 3 users like myself, you might have to go pick up a pen to actually use all the full functionality in there as it is. But overall though, Windows 10 anniversary update, um, to certain users, it might not feel as much because a lot of things are underneath uh, making the software better. And some of the uh, feature changes that you'll see are a glossy, shiny finishes and also a lot of UI, you know, UI touch-ups, if you will. Now the key areas with Windows Ink, as well as also key areas with uh, Windows Hello and Cortana really are where it shines. Now, again, I couldn't show you guys Windows Hello with the Iris scanner because I don't own the Surface Pro uh, uh, Pro 4, but I have seen it in action and I can tell you it works well. I wouldn't actually fully vouch for that part because of course, didn't use it in my review, but I can say at least from my viewing experience, it does. The parts I can definitely vouch for, Cortana really is becoming more useful. And I like the fact that I can use it on my PC since I work a lot with a PC and transfers a lot of that information to my phone with ease. And also it's a little bit more conversational. What I wanna see Microsoft go into the future, especially with Cortana, is uh, Internet of Things. I'd like to see more use cases uh, where I can now use Cortana to control around the home based off Windows PC, as Windows PC connects, of course, to the Xbox with the anniversary edition. I wanna see more of that connectivity around the home. So hopefully Microsoft can push that further. I also wanna see improvements with security, adding more feature sets to Windows Defender. Yes, it's still, uh, it's got more, more features, but it's still a light backbone. I wanna see it compete fully with things like, of course, uh, known as Antivirus and McAfee. And also Windows Inc., I love the improvements and giving the stylus more functionality. Um, Microsoft definitely has to do more to make people want to use it as much more as possible. But overall, I do like this update. And hopefully you guys like this video. I know it's a little bit lengthy, I apologize, but thank you for watching. If you have any questions, any comments, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank <laughs> you.